Food prices are up everywhere, but could restaurants be offering a better value than the grocery store? We reported earlier this week that the inflationary gap between dining out and cooking at home is the widest that it has been since the 70s. Two News reporter Allison Gens is live with us in the studio, taking a look at what this means in the Miami Valley. Allison. John Brook restaurant owners I talked to are doing all they can to avoid passing higher food costs on to you. But unfortunately for families who can't go without groceries, there's not much they can do to keep costs down. For us, actually pretty rough. Rachel Ross is a mother of two. She says she used to spend $250 every other week on groceries. Now her spending has more than doubled. My grocery shopping hasn't changed at all. The things that I need hasn't changed at all. And you're looking at like $375 for like a week. On the other side of that, some are finding they're saving money and time by eating at their favorite restaurants instead. Sometimes it is cheaper just to pick up something to take home rather than go home and make, especially by the time you spend the time doing it. And there is some data to back that. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, grocery prices increased 13% year over year in July. In comparison, restaurant prices are up 7.6% since last July. That's happening even though restaurant owners are reporting record food costs. Items like cheese, um, dairy, eggs, They've doubled in prices in some cases. Liz Valenti is a chef and partner at Wheat Penny and Meadowlark and serves on the board for the Ohio Restaurant Association. Valenti says restaurant owners are getting creative, a lesson they learned to stay afloat during the pandemic. It's hard in an Italian restaurant not to have tomatoes and cheese, yeah. but what we have done is we've, we're making as much cheese as we can in house. So we're making our mozzarella, we're making our ricotta. The other thing is we've started to look at other suppliers. Valenti says they've been raising menu prices incrementally, but customers have been understanding. I can't expect to go to the same restaurant and pay the same thing I was paying three years ago. The National Restaurant Association reports that restaurant sales overall are up from a year ago, but if adjusted for inflation, real sales have declined in both June and July. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.